So I'm going to show you a quick way to create a notification of when a file or a column in a Microsoft list uh, is overdue. So I've got a folder here and here's a bunch of files in it. I've created a column called deadline. I've put in some dates in here. So the date is uh, after today and the date is before today. And what I want to do is rather than my having to come in and check this every time, every day to see if it's overdue, I want to be able to get a notification. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new column to do that checking for me. So when we go to add a column down at the bottom, we're going to pass all these ex existing choices. We're going to go into more here and this is going to take us to the old SharePoint style. So I'm going to call this um, dead uh, overdue, overdue check. And this is going to be a calculation. So give it a second. The page is going to refresh because there's extra column information for that style. But I'm going to go down here to additional column information where the formula is going to live. So the formula starts off with any formula starts off with an equal to. And we're going to use the now function that basically says check it now. And when now is greater than the deadline, and I just double click on that. It inserts it. Tell me yes or no. So there's a the style that we're going to be doing. So we click on that and hit OK. And we're going to go back to our site. There it is there. Notice it's got some checks, some not checked. I'm just going to go into here and look at my column settings and look at how I format this. We're going to format it as yes or no. And I'm going to hit save. So rather than a checkbox, it'll be yes or no now. It's also going to be red or green. Now, if it's overdue, that's a yes. That to me is red. So I'm going to change all this. Now, uh, this also is going to change because if there's no data signed in there, it's just going to assume that, you know, it's it's uh, um, overdue. But I want to change the colors around here. So I'm going to go into here under my column settings and I'm going to format this column. And here I can edit the styles. Let's go into here. So I'm just going to switch this around. If it's yes, I want it to be it's meaning it's overdue. I want it in red. If it's no, then I just want it in green. And I'm going to save that. Close that off. And there we've got a piece that automatically checks depending on what the date is. Again, if it's empty, we're, that's that's uh, going to show up as yes. But if it's not empty, hey, look, it's green. So notice here how this is green right now. I'm just going to change the date here just so we can see what that looks like. Whoops, that's not the page I want. Let's go back to here. Select that. Go hit my eye for detail or information. And that's where I can go and change my information. Where's a date here? So I'm going to check this date and move it back to the first. That was green before, but now it's red. Okay, excellent. So let's talk about notifications. I can go under the three dots up here to automate and I can set a reminder. The reminder looks at dates only. Okay, and it's not going to be a customized reminder or anything like that. It's just basically going to say, hey, you are asked to be notified when this happens. It is a power automation, so it's important that you name it something unique to this particular library or folder, whatever you want to call it. But uh, otherwise, because if you use this a number of times, they'll all be called get an email reminder. So we'll give it a name. In this case, I always say if because it's a social work, let's just do SW. So all my social work automations are grouped together. Remind me how many days in advance. In this case, I want to remind be reminded the day of. So I'm going to hit create. And when today's date gets to this date, it will automatically send me a reminder with a link to this file here saying, hey, you wanted to be notified when today match this date. So I can now go in and check if it's overdue. We'll have the same thing. The overdue check will show up. So at a glance, I can quickly look at these things. I can also create a view that says, is this overdue? Yes or no. So I'm going to go under my all documents here and I create a new view. The new view, I'm going to call it overdue. It's a list. I'll make it public so that anyone in the team can make use of it. And there's the view, but I just need to go in and I'm going to edit the current view. There's all the the uh, the information. So there's the, the name. There's the columns we're going to have in there. And what we want to do is I just want to filter on this where overdue check the overdue check here is equal to yes. And I'll go ahead and save that. And then what that means now is anytime that this overdue check is uh, 
is is showing up as yes, that's all I'm going to see. Right? There's all the documents, but then I just want to see the overdue ones. And once I have this set up here, I can go and use change the status of all these or do all, whatever I want. But now I'm just focusing on what is actually overdue. Don't even have to look, compare the date. It's doing that for me.